Welcome to Clash of Code. In this video, all three of us devs are going to compete to see who can solve this JavaScript problem the fastest. So we're gonna be all dropped into the same room. We have no idea what problem we're about to try and solve, but whoever does it the fastest will win. Is everyone ready? I'm ready. My nickname growing up was number one the fastest. So <laughs> that's me. Let's do it. On the left-hand side here is the problem description. It then tells you what your input is going to be. And you can see that the input is actually multiple lines. So it's gonna give us three different lines. Each line has A, B, and C on it and then your expected output is the total based on this problem description. On the right-hand side, you can see your code, and you can see they already have it set up for you. So there's this read line function that's built into Clash of Code, and that's what's reading each one of these three lines on the left. So this code, line six through eight, is already ready to go. It's read A, B, and C in for us. Now it's your job to write the code to get the answer total and console log it out. Okay. All right, let's do it. All right, let's go. Okay, so the problem says you're given three numbers, A, B, and C. Starting from zero, compute the total. If the number is even, add it to the total. If the number is odd, subtract it from the total. This should be easy, right? So this says, uh, if the number is even, add it to the total. So I think we have to do A, B, and C. So yeah, we start with total. It starts off as zero. And then if A is even, so we'll do mod two is zero, then we'll increase total by A. Um, so let's go ahead and say let total is equal to start. And then we can say if, and then let's just raw, raw do this quick here. If A modulo two, we do total minus A. If the number is odd, subtract it from, okay. And then we can just copy these total plus. I, this is the exact type of thing that I make some dumb mistake on. Um, really quickly. All right, so here we got the accumulator. We are going to return the accumulator plus if the value is odd, so we'll use the module modulo operator. If the value is cleanly divisible by two, that's how you tell if it if a number is even or odd, then it is even. So then we will return the value. Otherwise, we are going to return the value times negative one. We're, we're going to subtract it. If B is odd, so if we do mod two does not equal zero. Oh, I have to do this for every single one. I'm going to turn this into a function. Uh, so then we subtract it from the total and that's everything. So actually I need to pull this into a function that like modifies total. Found zero expected three. I already got the first one wrong. Okay. So maybe I'm just reading this incorrectly. If the number is even, so, oh yes, that is the problem here. So if A is modulo two, let's do this ternary here. Total is equal to total minus two or total Plus two. Play all test cases. Found negative three, expected three. What am I doing wrong here? So I take A, B, and C. If the number is even, add it to the total. Oh, I forgot to start with zero. Same thing. What? This is like the simplest thing in the world. Okay, I'm trying to get fancy with and it. And this will take in a value. And then we need to call update total for A, B, and C. If the number is even, add it to the total. Maybe I need an else. Oh, I guess else if doesn't even matter here. If the number is odd, subtract it. Oh, I, I subtract it from the total. Oh, I need to log out total here. That's the, that's the I had the hard coded value. All right. Yeah, this is it. There's that. This is it. Done. Done. Console.log. Ah, oh, freaking CJ got it already. If it is divisible by two, it's even. So if the number is Eden, add it to the total. This is just the manual way. Who cares about loops right now? Or functions. This is the dumbest possible solution to this, and I'm slow, so. Okay. I think once Wes and Scott Got figure out what it's asking for, they'll get it. Because this is, a, this is a, so Scott submitted. Yeah, it's a fairly simple problem. That was, for, for me, my struggle was just straight up reading. Is it backwards? Oh, divisible by two is equal to zero. Then we return the val, otherwise we return the value times negative one. And I'll get that console log out of there. We will play it. What the hell? <laughs> 
Oh, I gotta add some debugging here. Man, say if is even return the accumulator plus the value. Otherwise, we return the accumulator minus the value. I'm embarrassed at this. There we go. Woo! Got it. Submit. Hold on, I gotta unmute them. They're laughing at me. Yeah. We are laughing at you. I'm sorry. Oh, took, took I can't believe. <laughs> I can't believe I goofed that up so bad. Yeah, I got I got so fancy. Yeah, that's why I was laughing. I, I was hearing you talk about your accumulator, and I was like, oh, he he went too fancy on this. I I was trying to do it in a one line. Okay, so should we look at CJ's code first? Yeah. Uh, yeah, pretty simple. So I have a. Oh uh, man. Yeah. This <laughs> is not cool scalable, CJ. Just, Just wait till you fastest. see mine, Wes. <laughs> We're not trying to scale. We're trying to get to market fastest. And I got there three three minutes faster than you. <laughs> Uh, I also use Modulo. I just did three oh straight gosh. ternaries because you're always going to have three inputs. Who cares? Just yeah. these, uh, you're just modifying variables left and right. You, what about you immutability? Could honestly, you could have a function. Who gives a shit about immutability in this? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> That's not the goal. I had mine <laughs> wow. on like a one liner in like 10 seconds. And then I forgot <laughs> that the value divided by two, you have to check if it's zero. I thought mm. that returned true or false. So it was the opposite. The uh, lesson learned here is uh, dirty code is going to work better than like trying to figure out a reduce too, I think. All right. That was super fun. Let's do another one. You guys ready? Yes. All right. Now I got the hang of this. Hey, Randy, you could add some like Mario Kart, like beep, beep, beep. Just a, a thought. That'd be fun. Write, Write a, a function that, that takes an array of numbers and returns the, the sum. sum of even numbers in the array. I'm not even going to read the rest. We're just going to do it. So we're going to have the sum out here. Start it off as zero. And then if this number we read in is divisible by two, uh, then sum gets increased by X. And then afterwards, we should log the whole sum. That should be it. Yes, done. Hey, let's get rid of the stupid for loop. Nobody uses for loops anymore. So const total is equal to inputs dot reduce. We're going to start with zero and take the accumulator and the value. And if the value is function takes array of numbers is even is divisible by two, then Oh, okay. don't forget the equals zero. Then we are going to return the accumulator plus the value. Otherwise, we're just going to return the accumulator because we're not taking it. Just no, found nothing. That's because I got a console log it. So that we need a sum, let sum equal zero. If, if we have a sum, then we say sum uh, is equal to if there is an even number. So if X modulo two is even, uh, do nothing. So sum is equal to sum uh, plus zero. Otherwise, we have sum plus X. And then we console log out sum play all test case, test case, test case, test case, go. CJ, 34 seconds, what the fuck? See, the problem with Wes is that he he's not thinking dumb enough. You, you gotta think- No, he overthinks you gotta it every think time. The dumbest possible solution, the uh, easiest, whatever. <laughs> and, and it just so happens oh, that oh, all of my oh, solutions- I gotta parse it. Have, okay, now we gotta take this. Why is he gotta parse Let's it? Make this What's he parsing? Explicit you don't gotta function. Parse. What's he parsing? Um, so const val is equal to parse int val. And we'll take this and make it a value. Make this a value. Let's see what we got now. Six success, 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 success. Submit. Boom. Still last. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Who uses for loops though? Come on. <laughs> the code is set up for it. All we needed was an accumulator outside the for loop and then inside the for loop, an if statement. That's literally all we needed. Oh man. Sounds like a memory leak waiting to happen. <laughs> I simply just, like you said, yeah. created a sum outside and then did a ternary where it's, I don't know why I did sum plus zero. Um, <laughs> that's like the <laughs> dumbest thing I've ever written in my entire e life. Explicit for you. Yeah. 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 I was just, 
<laughs> I was just like talking through it in my brain and I didn't even notice it until right now, but hey. Yeah, you could have done like plus equals, but I like that you're doing ternaries. I think you're ready for shortest mode because you've been writing like really terse solutions. Oh yeah, I deleted the stupid for loop and used the reduce <laughs> like a proper programmer. This is your brain on oh. reduce, yeah. 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 Somebody needs to take down CJ. <laughs> We yeah. all know he's cheating. All this of us guy, know he's cheating. All he cheating. does is do freaking Everybody loop over it. numbers and add them together. No real <laughs> skills. The comment even know at he's all. Cheating. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Let's get this it. This is the last one. Yeah. You, I want you guys to dethrone me. All right. Okay. This is a longer description. This could get interesting. In a world where people get powers by eating magical fruits, you'll be given in fruit types. There are three types of fruit. Logia, Parmesia, and Zone. Logica, Parmesia. What is this Zelda type shit? This is so stupid. A Logia fruit is valued for 100 belly. Oh my gosh. I don't watch Star Wars or any of these things. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have a lookup table of like values. And inside of there, we're going to have each one of these. And each one is going to have a value. So Logia is 100 belly. Parmesia is 75, and Zone is 25. And Fruits is what? Man, this is the hardest part, because CJ probably knows what Fruits is already. Oh my God. Fruits is, oh Jesus. <laughs> um, if Fruits is standard, it's just one of the Fruits. So you're just reading one of the Fruits. Okay. Uh, sum is equal to Fruits. Uh, if fruits is equal to, oh man, this string, this word. At the end, the sum plus the word belly. We just need a total value. Let's say if fruits is equal to lo logia, then total plus equals 100. If fruits is equal to that then sum plus 100, otherwise, um, no, no, sum is equal to sum, not sum plus zero, okay. If fruits is equal to paramecia zoan 75, I better have read this question correctly because I don't have time to go back and read again. 75, 25. Consult log total. Why expected 200 belly? Oh, we got to console log the total plus uh, found nothing. Belly. Why? Uh, okay. oh, boom, oh, boom, bracket. boom, That's, boom. Ah, my bad. That was an honest mistake. <sighs> Doubled CJ's and submit. time. Oh, I still lost. You guys did so much better three that time, Three seconds, though. Scott. You beat Oh, me. I beat West by oh, three, three seconds. Wow. Yes. Wow. Per, 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 per. Wow. Perpetually number two. I'll take Yes, it. perpetually just... last. <laughs> <laughs> you guys did much better that time, though. Yeah, I think we're realizing that this is like garbage code in these, so you just have to write. <laughs> I think half do, my do time is can. still trying to figure out the problem. Or it's, it's saying all these weird words, but what is it really asking for? Like, if you look at my solution, it really just, it's like a lookup table and then... You could have had a bunch of if statements, but you have a lookup table. Oh, and then... I was going to do a lookup table, too. That's oh. a good call. Yeah. So on mine, I did the dumb if statement. Turn your ring up. Yeah, yeah. I just like it. Just like how it works. Um, yeah. So, yeah, that's what I did. Nice. Yeah, I, I did the same thing as well. Three if statements. Yeah. And, uh, and, but, but plus equals instead of... Uh, the ternary. the ternary, yeah. All right, thanks everyone so much for watching. If you think you could beat us, definitely head over to Clash of Code and give some of these a try. Uh, but I'm the reigning champ, so. Congratulations. I appreciate it. If you enjoyed this, definitely check out our CSS battle that we did here, or maybe uh, check out one of the um, trivia games that we played in the past, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.